All those smart people are laughing at me. Stop it, cruel smart people. Stop it. Well, over the last couple decades, we've been told about global warming, how it's the cause of all these disasters, these natural disasters. No, your assertion is bullshit. You will not find any scientist out there that has said, or even will say, that human cause, climate change, has caused natural disasters. That assertion on your part is false, and you know damn well that it is false. You know the reason why you make assertions that no scientist defends because nobody scientist asserts? It is oh so much easier to attack than a position that scientists do assert and therefore do defend. You will find, if you've been paying attention, that over the past 50 years or so, scientists have said that human-caused climate change, of which global warming is a part, has caused, past tense, and is causing and will cause more extreme weather events. Not cause the events themselves, but make them more extreme. For over a hundred years, scientists have been warning each other and governments and people, anyone who would listen, that human cause, climate change, is a serious threat. Not only to national security, but to humanity in general. <sighs> to continue. Recently, it was Hurricane Sandy. At the ICLEI forum that we attended in November, the, they were stating that global warming, climate change, had not caused Hurricane Sandy, but had accelerated the storm. So your first assertion was false. You knew it was false. You made it anyways. We saw the massive droughts in the summertime across North America. They were blamed on climate change and global warming. It's just endless. I mean, you can check all the newspapers and all the news feeds. Yes, a part of climate change is due to human causes. We knew this already. You'll see climate change being blamed for just about everything uh, and anything you can think of. How true is this? Well, let's take a look at the Met Office releasing a study stating that there has been no global warming for 17 years. Yes, and you have been told that that assertion is bullshit. Not only did the Met Office not produce any such study, not only did they not say that, they issued a statement saying that claim is false. Link down in my crotch. The Met Office has stated over and over and over again that the claims this clown is parroting are false. Never has the Met Office stated that increased global average temperature has stopped, let alone has reversed and started cooling. In fact, they stated and continue to state the exact opposite. In the past 10 years, for example, eight of them have set record high global average temperatures. The Met Office has stated and is stating the exact opposite of what this clown is parodying. Since 1996, there's been no increase in global temperatures. Since year 1997, 14 of 16 years set record high global average temperatures, with one year being tied with the highest. That makes 15 out of 16 years record high global average years. You are therefore full of shit. This has now been recognized by NASA's James Hansen. No, that assertion is bullshit. What Dr. Hansen actually said is in my crotch down below this video's description box. James Hansen said the exact opposite of what this clown is parodying, specifically that the past decade has been the hottest in the instrument record. Golly, I'm seeming to detect a pattern here. And the head of the IPCC. Both have stated that they acknowledge that there has been no global warming. No, Dr. Pachari never said that. In fact, he said the exact opposite. Links down in this video's description box. 
It is absurd and asinine for anyone to claim that Dr. Pachari would say that which is known to be false and that which no scientist out there thinks, let alone believes. It is fundamentally absurd to believe that Dr. Pachari would make an assertion equal to saying Earth is hollow or that Earth is the center of the universe. He never said global increase in average temperature stopped. The Australian, which reported on the interview in question, made that assertion. The Australian said he said that, but the Australian did not quote him. I have access to the actual interview in question. And you know what? It says the exact opposite of what the Australian said the Dr. Pachari said. Don't believe me? Look at the actual interview. Listen to it. There's the audio clip available. You can read the transcript. He did not say what this idiot is parroting, he said. He said the exact opposite.